Hey guys, this is Mitchell from Gamefront here with a video for my top 5 game characters of 2012. Characters in my eyes are the most important aspect of a game's story. If I don't like the characters, chances are I'm not going to care what they do or what eventually ends up happening to them. These 5 characters in some way, shape, or form endeared themselves to me and caused me to further become invested in their story. Number 5 In Asura's Wrath, Yasha was the perfect foil for the brash and hot-headed Asura. Always seemingly cool and collected, Yasha bears some pretty heavy guilt and rage issues of his own that he suppresses for what he believes to be the greater good. Yasha's development as a character as he struggles to find what the right thing to do is, make him very sympathetic and leads to some conflicting emotions as the player is forced to do battle with him towards the end of the game. Number 4 When I first started up Assassin's Creed 3 and I was put in control of Haytham, my first thought was, who is this guy and when do I get to play as the guy on the cover? Then I played on and found myself kind of liking Haytham's dry sense of humor, his sense of justice, and even his budding romance with Connor's mother. Then when we finally do get control of Connor, I found myself wishing more than anything to be back in control of Haytham because in comparison, Connor is about as interesting as a wet sponge. Number 3 My personal favorite type of villain is the one that makes you anxiously await the moment where you finally get to make them shut their mouth but at the same time anxiously await the next time they speak. I'm rocking my brain trying to think of a name for that diamond pony I bought. I, I was gonna call it Piss for Brains in honor of you, but that just feels immature. Hey, maybe Butt Stallion? Handsome Jack epitomized this type of villain. With some of the best quotes of the year, Handsome Jack was an unequivocally evil son of a bitch, but managed to make people love him for it. Number two. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity. If there was an Academy Award for the best acting in a video game, the 2012 honor would definitely go to Michael Mando for his portrayal of Voss in Far Cry 3. Much like Joe Pesci's character in The Goodfellas, Voss is the kind of character that would make you laugh, then immediately flip the switch and become this dark and scary individual whom you don't want to fuck with. Voss was just the right type of crazy, and his insanity monologue, first seen in E3, is still one of the most memorable moments of the year in gaming. Number 1 Clementine sets the bar for how children in games and even in all media should be written. She's not just a tool that writers place in a story to elicit sympathy from the player, or a dead weight that the main character must schlep around and protect whenever things get dicey. Clementine is probably the most fully fleshed out character of Telltale's Walking Dead game, and it's because we actually know who she is as a character, and because she has actually endeared herself to us through dialogue and her actions, that we want to protect her. Not just because she's a child and children need to be saved. 